Hi and welcome to this little quick tip on how to transpose a melody which is something that causes some people a lot of grief. So here's a melody on the board, don't worry too much about what it sounds like. I've purposely included some funny accidentals so we can learn how to deal with them. And if you were wanting to transpose that upper tone, the first thing you do is transpose the key signature. And when you're transposing, you might as well just think in major keys. It won't really matter whether your piece is in a major key or a minor key. Two sharps means we're in D major. We're going up to E major. So here we go. We need a key signature for E major. So the first job, transpose the key signature. Copy in the time signature. Because we're going up, we're just going to put all the notes up one. Don't worry at all for a moment about the flats or the sharps or the naturals, just make sure that all of these notes are going up. You might just have to change some stem direction like you do there and we're just going to take every single note up one without having any worries at the moment about the accidentals. So there we are, that's all the notes transposed up one. Then you go back and look at the accidentals and just work out how to deal with them. Now what we're doing here is we're going up a tone or we're going up a major second so you could look at all of these notes and you could say well what's a major second above B flat but you could also do it this way. You could look at the key signature here and say what was B in this key signature? The answer was it was B natural. So what have we done to it to make it B flat? We've taken it down a semitone. So whatever we've done there, let's do the same thing here. So we look at this note and we say, what's this note in the key signature? Well, it's C sharp. So if I take C sharp down a semitone, which is what happened there, it's going to be C natural. And it's often these accidentals that cause people a bit of trouble when they're transposing. So you see what I did? I said, what was B in the key signature here? It was B natural. What happened to it? It went down a semitone. What was C in the key signature here? It was C sharp, so let's take it down a semitone. And to double check, if you think what's a major second above B flat, you'll find it is C natural. Okay, let's move on. So here's the next accidental. What was E in this key signature? It was E natural. What happened to it? It went down a semitone, so let's have a look. We've got F now. What's F in this key signature? It's F sharp. Take it down a semitone, it becomes F natural. Here's our next accidental and this time we're looking at C and we're thinking in the key signature that was C sharp wasn't it? So it's come down from C sharp to C natural, it's gone down a semitone. So let's have a look at D, what was that in the key signature? Well it was D sharp wasn't it? So we do the same thing and we bring it down a semitone to D natural. Which also makes the point that sometimes accidentals will stay the same when you transpose them, but sometimes they'll change. So, quick recap. There's the original. Think about what we're trying to do. In this case, we're just trying to transpose up a major second, up a tone. So the first job is transpose the key signature. Think in major keys only. We were in D major. So we're transposing up a second into E major, that's got four sharps. We then copy in the time signature, we write out every single note of our melody up a second, up a note. Then we go back and deal with the accidentals by saying what was that note in the key signature, what happened to it? Then we do the same thing here, what was this note in the new key signature? We need to do the same thing to it that we did that time. And there we are. That's today's quick tip in transposing a melody.